Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. This is the first round of um, our bird collage called Collaging is for the Birds. So I'm going to do something a little different my first one. I'm not going to say it's a, I'm not going to call it a surreal because I don't think it's a real, a real surreal. Um, but I have this book here, and like I said, I'm using my larger um, stone product guide. So I have a lot of room to work in this. And I'm going to start right at the very beginning, right in the front. This here, I'm going to leave the table of contents. I might make my own table of contents in here. I'm going to leave this. I'll scrap around that. That'll be another project. The inside, this side, I'm going to leave maybe to do writing or something. So I'm going to start on this page here. And I have this book, Date with London, by Dare Wright. I bought this for $2 at my local library when they had a book sale. I've used it a couple times for surreal collaging. You can see I've made a great image, cut this out. So I did find, as I was going through here, I'm thinking, hmm, the first thing I thought of, I was going to use this parrot because of the color contrast, the black and the white. Um, I decided not to use him. I got thinking about it because this is the UK, this is in London, and when I think of the kids in here and stuff, there's children, I think of Harry Potter. And then I got thinking, okay, the owl in Harry Potter. And that was, um, what was it the great white owl? The, I cut it up. And unfortunately, I cut the snow. Was it the snowy owl? It's the snowy owl. This is the snowy owl. And that is the owl that you see in the Harry Potter movies. So I thought it would be fun to use this. And as I'm going through looking, okay, you know, I'm thinking of all different things. He could be perched on somebody's hat, you know. But again, it doesn't leave me a lot of room. Well, I ran across this picture here, and I thought this was really cool with the kids looking down out of the, um, I don't know if this is a walkway, if it's a, a building. Here's your arch, and it's just kind of dark and mysterious and such. So I'm going to use this image here and it will fit fine. I can cut it down. It's going to fit fine. I'm going to obviously use this as a horse or a vertical image and it's going to go on there just like this. So I'm going to cut it down and I think I said this was what ten and a half I may even be able to take, I want to keep some of these windows here. I'm going to have to cut the bottom off a little bit. Um, I don't want to cut the, t I might be able to cut, I don't really want to cut that because you do see that it's a window. I don't want to lose too much of this arch down here, but it looks like I may. Um, I'm going to cut this right about here. I'm not measuring it. I'm just going to mark it. And let's see, I'm going to cut that. Right about here like that. Okay, and I think that'll work out good. I'm going to have to open just to get this on here. I'm going to have to do it this way. to make sure I get it on there properly. This is when you can see if these pages are really straight. All right, and then we're going to cut it so professional, right? Doing it that way, just making my marks like a kid. And then we're going to cut it a 
and I'm just going on the other side of that just to make sure I think I just hit the camera. Sorry about that. I think that will be good. Then I can get this down on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down because I don't want my paper to warp. this on here. So I hope everybody is doing well. It's been a very busy week for me um, getting all these videos done. Okay, all right, so let's get this on here and I think I'm gonna have to stand up to do this and then I can get us back in I think I'm in focus there okay that's good now I can flip this back over like that look at that just like magic all right Okay, so there I have my page here. Let's move this up a little bit there. Now I'm in full view. All right, just can't move this. So I wanted to put my owl right down around here, sitting on this ledge. The kids are looking down at it, but I need, to, I need more. Uh, I don't want to take away from the owl, so... I found, and I'd like to add a little smidgen of color. Now, I can do it one of two ways. I found these really cool. First, I thought about having vines coming up the side and coming around and coming down. I didn't want to add any green. So I found these here that I had cut from a book quite some time ago. And I thought I could take bits and pieces from these images and put them. I want to see everything that I have though first as to what I could cut. This is yarrow. Put that aside. This I won't. That's too fine. I need something a little bolder. I have this one with flowers, somewhat flowers on it. And I have to look, when you do something like this, you have to look if you want it coming off here, here, down here, inside of here. Um, there's a lot of options. You can mix and match. There's clovers. That's That reminds me of Ireland. Here is just some leaves that would work. That's a bulb. And that is a, oh, that's a lily. That's a lily bulb. So I think my best chances are to use these because I have more of them. This here is sage. This here is lavender. But I like the leaves on here. Now I can do a couple different things. I want to add a smidgen of color. I pulled these, but and I do like the green on here, but I just think it might be too much. So I think maybe what I might do is I'm going to take a um, I'm going to take a page out of Debbie's book over at my Vagabond Style. She's been using her chalks to color some of her vintage ladies and I think what I'm going to do first though is I'm going to cut some of these out I'm going to put them on I may add color I may not add color I may just like the total black and white 
in the deep gray contrasts. So I want to see how that will work first. Um, so I'm going to do a rough cutting here. And then when I get everything in place, I will step away and I will do my cutting off camera. And then when I have everything cut out, I can come back and we can have a nice little chat while I'm gluing things down. Just want to kind of get this cut out around here so I can see. Get that stem. That will go. This looks like kind of like a window, but I'm going to. That can go there like that. Uh, let's see. I won't I wouldn't use these here. But I do like the idea as well of having these vines and such such be growing up the side of the building. Sometimes that's what you know old old buildings a seed will form. there like that and then I can trim that a little bit. All right, let's see. And then we have this one. I don't know if there's enough here to go up the side of that window. And I'm just going to do a rough cut. Whoops. I just don't know how much. And when you're cutting like this, just take your time and figure out how I don't want that big leaf there, so I'm going to come down around in here. I'm going to cut this large leaf off here. I'll come up into here. That would come like that. I think that will be good. And then I'm going to take these off here. And then we can have that sprouting up around there. Now, is this too big? I'm wondering now if this might be too big because we have the owl down there. Um, these are a little bit bigger. And maybe, maybe I just need to take this Kind of like to have that down there. 
because it's kind of hanging over that ledge. I think that might be good. I'm going to cut this one out as well, and then we can change. We'll see. I'll see how this one goes, too. All right, let me, I'm going to step away. I'm going to get these cut out, and then we will be back. I have everything cut out. Everything is fussy cut and it all looks great. And I went ahead, I, I mentioned I might want to color some of the leaves. Um, I don't think I am. I, I got my chalks out and they come out really pretty, but I just don't think adding color to this, I don't know, I, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't, I really don't know about adding color to this. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it the the black and white or the gray. Um, maybe I will just continue to add a little bit of um, ink, distressed ink, around just a little bit around the sides and not everywhere, just a little hit and miss. Um, but I, I really want to keep it, I think, um, is natural just to go with that snowy owl. So, All right, that's good. All right. So let's put that over there. Whoops, we'll put that here. Let's get these positioned and then glued down. All right, so here is the... Now I know I want my owl. I want my owl right here perched. So I'm going to put that down straight away. right there like that on that little piece of stone. Okay. There. And then let's get these positioned here. Um, so where are we going to put these? This is a bigger one. I don't know if I wanted that larger one there or not. Um, I was going to put that there, but I may need a little bit. This one I think I want to have here coming down off of the top, growing down off the top. Maybe I could have that over a little bit more here and it could catch. I think I had this one here. This was the smaller one, kind of growing up like that. This one. I think I'm going to put that one up there. And then maybe I'll just attach that one to that one coming down here. And then I could put this one right here. I think that would be good. I thought about having this over here. I could bend this over, have this this way, but I think I like it coming off. Maybe even coming down off of like that. I think that's good. 
All right, so let's do that before I change my mind again. And that's going to be cut off. So we want to do this side for sure. I keep hearing a pop, pop, pop. I think somebody's, sounds like somebody's target practicing. We have a sand pit down the road from us. That's where a lot of the state police um, sight in their guns and they do practice over there. So the noise carries. It always sounds like it's right in my backyard when I hear it. But up here where I live, almost everybody has a gun. They're all hunters. They're all deer hunters. So um, what they usually do is if they're going to go out and sight in their rifles or whatever, we they give a call, let us know. This one here I'm going to put under. I want to get a snowy owl label. I can't believe I was silly enough to cut that off to label my bird. To label my bird. That's why I've named this collaging is for the birds because sometimes I forget. Of course I had to get glue. That just looks like a stain. It is a stain, right? A glue stain on the window. There, okay. And I'd like to put a title on here. So let me get a title. I think it would be fun to put a maybe a snarky saying on here or something. Because you can do anything you want on your collage. So I'm going to cut this off here. Let me just flip this over like this. And we'll snip these. And I will be back with a saying and we will finish the collage. All right, so I got thinking about this and seeing that it reminded me of Harry Potter, the snowy white owl, I still didn't make a um, little label for it. I'll, I'll come up with something. I'll find in a book, the snowy white owl. Um, so I got thinking about Harry Potter and there was a saying in Harry Potter, it's kind of like, um, don't chicken, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Well, this one is where they used to say, don't, don't count, don't count your owls before they are delivered. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to put this up here by these children and it will be like a little, little conversation they're having. 
and I think it would be good just to put them you know I was gonna go on Etsy whoops and look for some snarky sayings but I just saved myself some money because I can print these out myself And that's going to be the fun thing about um, this collage. And you can do anything you want, just like on the crossword puzzle. There's no, no demands or no criteria. You can put however you want, whatever will make you happy. There. Don't count your owls before they are delivered. So that is my first collaging is for the birds page. And there are the kids looking down at the snowy white. And I like that. I think it's I think it's fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank everybody. Um, I know there's quite a few gals that are going to participate in this. I do not have a hashtag. If you could just use, um, I think I should come up with a hashtag though, shouldn't I? Um, but if you could just use the phrase, collaging is for the birds. And um, I think I did come up with a hashtag. And I think I said it was going to be... Um, NR um, bird collage. Let me just double check that. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. So you're going to want to do hashtag NR for Nelly Ruth bird collage. So if you're on Instagram or here, please use that hashtag. Um, so again, it is hashtag NR bird collage, and then everybody will get to see what you are doing. I will put this in my Instagram with the announcement of the hashtag and all of that. And again, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I just adore you, and I'm so happy that you are really embracing my um, channel and you like what I'm putting out there. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you join. And if you have become a subscriber, thank you. And again, a special thank you um, to my uh, Patreon members. Um, I have exclusive videos that are just starting to come out over there. But I just, I'm, I think we're just, everybody's gonna really, really, really enjoy this challenge and it's not really a challenge it's just a fun way to collage and be free again there's no prompts there's nothing but what is in your mind what is in your heart what you want to go with what you want to create what you like to use and I think it's just going to be a lot of fun so again thank you everyone I just adore you all and I'm so happy that you are part of my community and um, yeah we are on our way and I can't wait to see what everyone else is creating so thanks again have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video all right everybody bye bye